Hi guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and today I have a thrift haul for you that I did on Saturday and I did two. I went to two different towns. I'm only going to do uh, one with you today, a short one. It's only 12 items. No sales except for my normal 15% off for, I get, I don't know, I think loyalty is 5% and my military I get 10%. Um, but I just wanted to do a short one just because I wanted to talk to you about a couple things first. Tomorrow night I have a video coming out that's a pack and ship. Well, it's over an hour long. It's like close to an hour and a half long because I had to split it in three because I ship so often. And so I want to apologize for that video if you watch it. Um, by the time I got to the third one, I didn't even do the packing. I just showed you what I sold and I set it aside because I was over it. I was just over it by then. Um, I, when I returned home, something was going on with my YouTube and I couldn't upload like normal. So I had to download a new browser. I had to download a new um, editing program. And so it's taking me a lot just to upload one video and um, I'm just not not into that as much as some of you are um, I don't like doing the thumbnails I don't know how to save things so I have to redo everything every time and it's just it's really time-consuming for me and I made a commitment to myself when I came back I would stop all reseller activities after a certain time of day and I'm sticking to it. So if it means I need to cut some things out, um, videos is going to be one of the first things to go because this is my income. This is how I survive. Um, and it's not from YouTube. I don't get paid from YouTube, which brings me to my second point. Um, I don't ever ask for subscribers or likes or, you know, like, like, 99.9% .9 of YouTubers do um, because I didn't start this channel to get for to get monetized. That was not my goal. And um, I refuse to pay a company to promote my channel to get me more subscribers, more likes, more views because I'm not going to see that coming back to me for like ever, if ever. Um, I mean, you have to have like up in the 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 subscribers before you start seeing any kind of a payday on YouTube. And I'm still only at like, I don't know, 380 some subscribers. But, you know, I can honestly say I got them on my own without paying a company to give me clicks or whatever. And, you know, a lot of you do that. I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, I know someone who has it and they can see everyone else who also has it um and that's fine <clears throat> because your goal is different than mine um and you do you and i'll do me and me am not going to pay someone to give me a few new subscribers or more views or whatever if you want to watch me you watch me if you don't you don't so with that said, I'm probably not going to be uploading as many videos because that's not where my income comes from. Um, I enjoy doing it, but unless I can figure out a way to um, not have to spend two hours to upload a 15, 20 minute video, um, they're going to be few and far in between. Um, I would rather spend those few hours <clears throat> outsourcing or listing because that's my paycheck so anyway um no sales this day this was saturday um i did get good sales on sunday but i will bring that probably wednesday um so i got 12 items my cost was 48 dollars, so my cost of goods was four dollars which is high for me but i think i got a few good things definitely will pay for it five times over um so yeah all right so this first thing that i got was this cute little bag and this is i got this um 
to give as a gift. It's a Victoria's Secret bag. I figured I would just give it away um, with someone who ordered something Victoria's Secret from me. So I didn't pick that up to sell because it really doesn't have no resale value. Now this, on the other hand, my absolute favorite thing to sell outside of Salvatore Ferragamo's is this Victoria's Secret. I'm sure it's got a name. Just give me a second. Let me find it. Body. Hmm. T-shirt lined wireless. Okay. So, this is nice and neon. It looks like it's never been worn. Um, nice branding on the straps. It is a size 38 double D. Um, just a nice bra. So maybe that bag will go with this bra. Um, so yeah, we'll just go with the $4 cost of goods. I won't, I'm not going to really get into what everything costs individually. That's another thing. That's so annoying to me. And I know it's annoying to you. And I'm over it. I'm just over it. All right. This is just a cute little wallet. It's Bungalow 360. They do have a good following on Poshmark. It was clean. It was cute. I guess these are otters or beavers or something. A little peace sign. So yeah, I'll get I'll get my money back from that. And then I found this cute little Christian Dior bag. It's like a neoprene. It has the Dior printed on the inside. And it's just a little, probably for, I don't know, makeup brushes maybe. Anyway, it cinches together and ties. Just a cute little Dior bag. That will probably also be a free gift. I don't know. I didn't comp it out. I just thought it was cute. All right. Yossi Samra little ballet flat uh, foldable shoes. These go for a pretty good amount. Can't remember. I don't know. It maybe had been around the $20, $25 range. They were like new. Um, they are practically new. That's from the writing from Goodwill. I hate when they do that, but they're in decent condition. So those, those are those. Um, I didn't have all much time that day. I did get two items that I'm going to be using for my business. And they are for shoes. Shoe stretchers. Shoe. Keeps your shoes from getting all messed up. I think they're men's, but I think they'll work for, I don't know, certain like loafers and things like that. So I got those basically for me. All right. So I got a couple pairs of shoes. Um, Luis et C. These go for a decent amount of money. I just thought that they were a very cute shoe and heel. They were in really good condition. They just needed a cleaning. And they are a size 7 or 37 and a half. Medium. And then I got these Schultz shoes, slingbacks, patent leather, slingback shoes, and they are also in very good condition. And they're a size 38, and there's the bottoms. These shoes will pay for my thrift haul that, that day. As well these. These are Elites by Corky's. They are like in brand new condition. A beautiful pair of just slip-on shoes. Size 8. Just beautiful condition. Um, these will also probably 
alone pay for this haul. And I got two items of clothing and uh -huh, a scarf. I'll show you the scarf first because I like the scarf. It's pretty. I may keep it. I don't know. Um, but it is an anthropology brand. Tolani. I'm pretty sure it was an anthropology brand. But it's got the cinched. It's just it's just a really cute scarf. I really liked this scarf. So I don't know. I may keep it. I may gift it. Or I may list it. They're selling for around 15 So not a lot. But, you know, I think I got it for $1.50. Something like that. Pretty colors, great for fall. You know, this cutie. Urban Outfitters, made in Turkey, size medium. And this is an animal print halter, deep plunge, uh, pantsuit, jumper, romper, whatever you want to call it. Um, and these are bringing in pretty good money. I don't know, 25 to 30 for this. And I know it's not the right season, but it'll be in my closet for when it is, or maybe someone's going on vacation and they're going somewhere warm. It's very pretty. And these, this comp is all over the place. Initially, when I first got it, I was thinking the comps were looking about between 60 and 80. Um, but they are all over the place. I will probably start a little high and then reduce it as needed. But to me, this was kind of a bolo to look for depending on the style. So it's Chandri. And it is, again, a plunge v-neck long sleeve maxi dress. So yeah, very nice. I really, I really liked this. I kind of wished it was in my size, but it's not. All right, so that was my 12 items from Saturday. Not a lot, um, but I wanted to bring you a shorter video and tell you about my pack and ship video that's like an hour and a half long. I think I decided if I'm going to do them anymore, I'm going to just talk about it, put a picture up of the item that's sold and and then give you the final numbers at the end and then be done with it um, it was a very good week for me I more than exceeded my weekly goal um, and that's all I care about is making sure I meet that goal every week uh, which means I need to spend my time where it's going to be the most profitable and it's not by making YouTube videos um, with 388 subscribers or whatever. So um, my videos may be getting less depending on what I order. Um, if I can figure out a better way to upload my videos that I don't have to do upload and save in three different programs to get it to upload one time. Um, I'm just not all about that. I mean, um, my time is worth money and it's not it's not working doing the videos this new way that I have to do it. I can't just take a video and upload it like I did before. I have to go through like four or five steps to get one video uploaded and I have to wait and wait and wait. And then I got to sit up on my router because the internet is slow, um, which means I can't be taking photographs and listening while I'm waiting. And you know, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. So I don't know. Unless somebody wants to give me some pointers on how to save all that stuff to where I don't have to re-enter my email or my posh closet and go back and forth and copy the links for this and that and this and that. Um, don't you dare. <laughs> my dog's getting all excited because I'm getting excited. Because um, I'm not in a good mood today. I'm tired already from messing with this stuff. So, anyway, come here. Come here gets mad when I shut the door <laughs> anyway I will bring you the package of video tomorrow you don't have to watch it I know it's long but you know I like to watch package ship videos I like to see what is selling for other people about the price range that 
they're selling in and you know I can go through my death pile and pull things out that is, is selling better now that I didn't think would would sell very well you know or I can adjust my prices up or down um, so I enjoy watching what other people are selling because I think it's it's a good way to for everybody to um, pay closer attention to what they list and how they price things except for the ones that give it away um, I'm not gonna give it away I do give some things away but I'm not gonna like give everything away just to have a sale because I make I make good sales without doing that so uh, and I price my things most of the time fairly I think anyway so yeah that's it I do have videos in queue still so I, there'll be some every day for a little bit um, and then I don't know we'll go from there I don't like I said, I am not going to waste so much of my time um, when I, I don't think I've gotten any new subscribers really in, in a while. So it's been just kind of stagnant and I, I don't like to be stagnant. And again, like I said, I didn't start my YouTube channel to get monetized <clears throat> or better yet, I feel um, I almost feel like it's become a competition and I don't I don't compete either I don't need to compete because like I said my main goal is to support my family with what I do and that means listing sourcing and reselling on whatever platform I see fit so enough of that rant with that said I'm gonna go and hopefully you get something out of my video tomorrow if you watch it uh, if you don't I'm sorry if you don't like my content unsubscribe it's just the way it is I will talk to you guys tomorrow Lily out